are you a stripper or a dancer? <laughs> I'm not a stripper, I am a professional dancer. I am a dancer. Like this is a dance heavy show. It just so happens yeah. that the theme of it is uh, the removal of one's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, 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 and then, bah. Yeah. We're all dancers first and foremost. We come from, you know, uh, musical theatre, hip hop, um, commercial dance backgrounds, which put together in, in something like this is just gonna harbour something that's spectacular to watch. My name is Ned Zayner. I am one of the dancers here at Magic Mike Live Australia. I've actually never performed like this kind of dance style until this show. It's so funny to have been portrayed as one way from, from my whole life as this dancer, a bit of a nerd that likes musical theatre and singing, and then to all of a sudden audition for this show and then be put on a pedestal as to, you know, you, you must love yourself. This is the hardest thing that I've ever done. My uh, dance background started when I was five. I was at my grandma's house and she put on a tape of Michael Flatley's Feet of Flames. And I loved it so much that I used to put thumbtacks in the bottom of my school shoes and tap around the house. And my mum got so sick of it that she said, well, we're gonna have to put you into class. I went to an all boys Catholic high school and doing dancing, that was just like a, a recipe for, for disaster and bullying and, and all the rest of it. I was lucky that I had a twin brother there with me the whole time. He's helped me keep all of my just, teeth. What, just do a little shot. I think you're doing a lot of harm. It should be clean. I mean, you did a kickball change out of the womb, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I mean, I started when I was seven. This is the 90s too, in Dubbo. So like jazz was not cool as we think about it today. It was a lot of jazz hands and shaking hips and... And spandex. There was no spandex, there was a little bit of spandex. <laughs> I got photos to prove it. No. Rainbow colour nope, too. I'm gonna burn them. <laughs> I don't really place myself particularly in a style because my whole career has been adapting to what jobs come up. We grew up doing kicks from the corner, like jazz technique, and there was no hip hop classes at all, so I was learning off YouTube, like hip hop choreography. And then I have tap and salsa and Latin worlds, and I've learned a little bit here and a little bit there. And it's ended up that Magic Mike is pretty much the show that involves all that. I went to one of Charlie's concerts, and I looked at him dancing in that spandex and said, <laughs> that looks fun, I should do it. <laughs> My peers were, let's say, less than kind to a boy who did jazz and ballet. So, and I was pretty sensitive as a kid. So they, mum and dad thought it was in my best interest to take me out and they put me into football. And then after all those years of playing football, I finally had toughened up enough and realized I want to go dance again. So I said to mum and dad, I want to do it. I want to go back despite the bullying, despite everything. And mum said, it'll be hard. And I said, that's okay. So I started dancing when I was five. And I think I got to the age of 16 and I decided that I wanted to make dance a full-time career so I dropped everything else in my life and just focused purely on dance. I started off with jazz, contemporary, tap and then hip-hop. I taught myself how to do flips and tricks and I learned how to uh, b-boy or break. In Magic Mike Live I think the main style of dance that we perform is commercial dance. When we say commercial dance it usually means a mix of different dance styles that are more based upon performing to a certain audience. So it's, it's the type of style that you might see in a music video behind an artist and you might see on stages throughout the world. It's, it doesn't have any boundaries of laws where your ballet has your first position, second position, devant derriere, your, your forward and back open and, and shapes. Hip hop and commercial dance is, is open style. It's free, it's movement, it's what feels good. It's what is driven by musicality and culture. And, and the choreography within the show is so unique to Magic Mike. Particularly in Australia, dancers usually get the negative space of a performance. You know, it's like someone and then some colour and movement. You feel the background. Yeah, but for this show, it's, it's like everyone kind of has their own moment to go out and shine. And you feel that from each performer when they're backstage. They, f they feel important and they look forward to that moment each night. And you don't get that often as a dancer. The thing that Magic Mike Live offered to me was an opportunity for me to be the artist and genuinely connect with people as they watch me rather than as they watch me behind someone else. And the choreographers who 
work with us, they're amazing. They say, this is the set piece of choreography for here, but then in this part of the show, we want you to freestyle and do whatever you want to do and do it to your best ability. Doing the sexy movements wasn't ever something that I considered doing before, but it's fun to see people's faces light up. It's such a fun time. How important have the discussions of consent been around this performance? We go through extensive conversations with our female choreographer and directors where they explain what we need to do to make sure that everyone feels respected, that everyone is safe. There's a consent from us when we come past people and if we're going to interact with them that we ask them, hey, do you mind if I dance with you or if I get close to you? And if they say no, you say, thank you so much for your time and you move on. And that's really what the show is about. It's about empowering women and making them feel loved and seen. And, and we get really lovely messages of people who say, you know, I, I've just gotten over an illness or I found that today was the day that I beat cancer. As much as there is the sex object element of it, there is this really nice touching. I like those line. moments the best. That kind of keeps me motivated to keep doing rather than being like, look at how sexy I am. You know, it's, it's yeah. more just like, are you guys having a good time? Because that's what you came here to yeah. do. And I hope that I'm helping like bring that about. We even safe words. So if we were to get too close to someone and they felt uncomfortable, they could simply say it and we'd say, of course, have a great night. And we'd step away. I want the women that come and see the show to, to leave with something that maybe they weren't expecting. I have people who have come to the show that have reached out to me on Instagram and Facebook and they like, thank you so much. You know, I lost my husband last year. It was, you know, devastating and this is the first time that I've come back and, and even been able to feel like I've been seen by another man. And if I can be that for them, then that's going to give me more fulfillment than just being there and taking my shirt off and trying to look good. We're not claiming to put on a, a perfect theatre show or anything like that, it's an experience. What we provide is an escape from reality. You can come to Magic Mike and have a good time, let your hair down, enjoy really good dancing and really talented men, but at the same time, not take yourself too seriously. And I don't think we ever try to pretend to be more than that, and I think that, that really resonates with the audience when they come.